Can Thomas Jonasson, off game number three, get the points well, to take it I'll through? I tell you what, if he manages to do it, that will be a remarkable performance considering he got unfairly excluded earlier on tonight. And he only had one point from his first two rides. And then back-to-back -back -back wins has given him a really strong opportunity now to make the semi-final. Of course, the top man so far from the Swedish point of view, AJ on the inside, he's a danger man. Certainly is. This is heat number 19 then, the penultimate race of the qualifiers here in Manila, away from the start. Oh, that's a good one from Colonze. Colonze, where's he found that from? Oh, oh it's gone down. Not for long, not for long, thrown it away in the first corner. Pierre's packed up down the back straight, and the red lights are on. The red lights are on. They yeah. are now, because Pierre shut the throttle very quickly, and Colonze's off the track. Actually, no real reason for the race to have been stopped. Because they saw Jonathan and Jonsson Yeah, there were people in front of us on yeah. their feet gesturing towards the referee's box saying, why on earth did you stop it? And I must say, I'm of the same mind. I am confused why the red lights came on so quickly, but they did. And I think that man there, Bier, he's got a second chance now. You know, he's having a great night of speedway, as is uh, Jonsson on the inside. But you wouldn't rule out Bier for a win tonight. Absolutely. But you know what it's like, Nigel, at this stage, you're looking for every point you possibly can get. And the pick for the gate is going to be hugely important for the semi-final. And quite clearly, Craig Ackroyd felt that Kenneth Bier had been impeded by B19. We'll try again. Jonsson off the inside, no rider off gate two. Thomas H. Jonathan, a man who can pass Hancock and Lindgren to get into the semi-finals off gate three. And Kenneth Bier going off the outside in the yellow helmet colour. Pierre very, very quick tonight. Kolodze, bitterly disappointed. Did have a crash in practice yesterday here at the G&B Arena in Melilla. And what a meeting it's turned out to be with plenty of grip on the track. And it's provided some spectacular action after an unpredictable start. Heat number 19. And away from the start, it's Andreas Jonsson who makes a good one. Now, no red light. Oh, Jonsson locks up. And Pierre has been impeded again. But the race continues. It does. And I thought the red light should have come on there because it looked like Jonsson was rolling on the inside. Got an absolute flyer. And he's flying away out in front. Jonsson having a fantastic night. Looking really good. Thomas H. Jonsson all out of shape in the first quarter and nearly wiped out Kenneth Pierre. Pierre is fast. He knows his motorcycle's fast and he's going to come charging at Thomas H. Jonathan. So the lead is with Andreas Jonsson then. Second place here in the white helmet colour is Thomas H. Jonathan. This would put him on to nine. That'll be enough for the semi-finals. But Pierre is coming up the inside. And Thomas H. Jonathan has been passed by Kenneth Pierre. And now coming up the oh, inside again, Jonathan. the inside. Compliment. And Pierre's coming back for more down the back straight as well. You can't take your eyes off the oh, he's down. Oh. He's gone down. What a race. Jonathan's Jonsson, gone down. Jonathan wins the race. Well, he has got through to second place, and Thomas H. Jonathan, if he actually pushes his bike round, he will pick up a point. But uh, and no red lights have come on. No red lights, so the race has not been stopped this time. So Jonathan, Jonathan's actually now pushing his bike round. He needs to hurry up because there is a time cell to get to the line. But if he gets there, he'll pick up a point. And he's got two race wins to his name. So this point that he's going to get, he's got to cross the line without being touched by anybody. And, and so Jonasson has still got to cross the line. He's getting a standing ovation. This point will probably take him into the semis. It will put him above Hancock and put him above Lindgren. They'll be on, he'll be on eight points, but he's won two races. Lindgren hasn't won any. Hancock has only won one. That could be enough for Thomas H. Jonasson, Kelvin. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, he's... Oh, no, he's been excluded. <laughs> Well, that oh, is... Oh, no, yellow's disqualified. I do apologise. Kenneth Pierre has been disqualified. Well, when I saw the replay... So that's two points for Jonasson, then. So why has the yellow exclusion light only just come on? I'm confused. Wow. Very, very strange. Right, so... Let's try and clear that up. The rider in yellow, Kenneth Pierre, has been disqualified. There's no question he's won races from every gate tonight. He won't go for gate four because that really has been uh, tough to do anything from there. But gates one and three have got to be the favourites. Well, we await. No surprise there. You've got to say Saifudinov must go for gate three, surely. No, he goes oh, for gate interesting. two. Interesting. Ah, that is a surprise. Yeah. They are grading the track, by the way, as we go along here. That's a huge uh, bonus now for Jonasson. He's going to get uh, the second best gate.
and he must go for gate. Wow, my goodness gracious me, that is a shock. I'm absolutely shocked. I'm absolutely shocked. That's easily the word. Yarrick Hampel has got a smile on his face, and I'll tell you what, I know why. I know some experts that have uh, predicted Hampel to win the meeting tonight. Here's the first semi-final then, maximum man Jason Crump goes off the inside with Emil Saifudinov going off gate number two. Ten points from four completed rides plus an exclusion. Yarek Hampel goes off gate number three. He can really rock it up to second place tonight in the World Championship. And Thomas H. Jonasson, the wild card, going off the outside on nine points. Drew Street with a spare bike ready for Jason should he need it. But so far, Crump has been absolutely magnificent. First semi-final here in Manila at the GMB Arena as the green light is on. What a start that was! So it off. Unbelievable start. Now Crump is surely going to be passed by Hampel. And could we see Jason Crump miss out? Oh, surely. Hampel very nearly ran in the back of Saifunanov. Somehow got away with that. Thomas H. Jonathan's paying the price of the wrong decision off the start line. He's tailed off out the back. But unbelievably, Crump is back in third place. Looking like he could miss out on the final after not being beaten so far tonight. Five straight wins before the semi-final, but Crump is well adrift here now. It looks like his night is going to finish with 16 points, but Emil Saifudinov is looking superb. Hampel comes through into second place. Third place is Crump. As it stands, it looks like Saifudinov and Hampel are going to be the first two riders into the final of the Scandinavian Grand Prix here in Manila. Saifudinov from the start was jet propelled. An electric start from Saifudinov. Brilliant start from him. He wins the semi-final. Chased home hard by Hampel. Those two boys go through. Bitter disappointment for Crump. Can't believe it. Jonasson paid the price of the wrong decision on the start line. Could have gone for a much better starting Grand position. Than that. That's only his second win of his career in Grand Prix Speedway. Congratulations to Yarek Hampel. Jonsson finishes top scorer, but it's Hampel who wins the Scandinavian Grand Prix.